Hi everyone, we're out here in front of 14211 Cedar Creek Avenue. It's off of Hageman Road and Jenkins Road in the northwest. This is a four bed, two and a half bath, over 2,700 square foot home. It's got a pool, RV parking, three car garage, and pretty much everything you would need in a neighborhood like this. As you can see, the neighborhood is quite beautiful. Looks like mostly custom homes, very large homes. Pretty quiet neighborhood overall. The house is beautifully landscaped. And we're going to walk up and do a tour of the inside here real quick. So when we first go in, on the left side is all the living rooms, form dining rooms, the master suite, and then kind of on the right side is the kitchen, uh, access to the garage, laundry room, bedroom, all the other bedrooms and bathrooms. We'll check out, check out the left side here in a minute, but we'll start here on the right. So to the left is the kitchen. We'll go through there in just a second. First door on the right is the laundry room and then access out to the three car garage. A laundry room has a built in sink, cabinetry, and then access for your gas or electric hookups. And then the next room is your half bath, but still a pretty big half bath. Lots of cabinetry again, plenty of storage in this place. First standard bedroom. And then you make a left down the hall. And then to the right is another bathroom. Again, lots of cabinet storage space. Uh, this standard bathroom actually has dual vanities, which you don't see very often. And access out to the RV parking and you know the backyard as well. So if you have kids swimming in the pool or whatnot, you can actually have them come in and not get your carpet all wet. And then your next standard bedroom. Now this one's a little bit different because this one actually has a walk-in closet, which is not common for a standard bedroom. And then your final standard bedroom down at the end. All these rooms have ceiling fans, which are almost a must in this town. Got another walk-in closet here. So even being a standard bedroom, these rooms are pretty big and have lots of space. All right, so we're gonna go back down the halls here. And we'll make that right to the kitchen. The kitchen's one of my favorite parts. Got granite countertops, granite backsplash, nice stainless steel appliances. We actually have double pretty good size ovens, which is Definitely a plus if you're cooking for a large family. And then you have your informal dining area where the little dinette set could sit, but has nice large windows staring out to the backyard. And it's open to the family room. The family room has a built-in fireplace, as well as large windows out to the backyard facing the pool. And then a little area that's already pre-wired for your uh, sound systems and TVs and that kind of stuff. Those or that room opens up to your formal, uh, formal living room, formal dining room. But I've seen people use this little room right here to put a pool table or uh, just anything you really need game room, playroom. And then to the right, off of here, you get to the master suite. You have your own little closet outside the master suite. Now once we get into here, very spacious. You have your own fireplace in the master suite as well with again, ceiling fan. In addition to that, you also have this little nook out here that you can use as an office or a reading room or if you have a baby, a nursery. I mean, uses are kind of endless and doesn't take up too much space in your room as well. Plus you have your own private entry to the backyard, which we'll go out to in a second. And on the other side is your bathroom. So take a walk into here. On your right is your walk-in closet. You actually have two doors into the walk-in closet. Very large walk-in closet. We'll take a peek inside. And then here's your very large dual vanity sinks. You have a separate shower and tub. And then a separate toilet room with the door to give you a little bit of privacy. So as you can see, the, the master suite takes up good just side of the house. This thing is pretty massive, which 
And we'll go ahead and head out to the backyard now. So you got three entrances to the backyard, which is convenient. You have the one in the bathroom, one in your own master suite, and then you have one off the main family area. Let's go out here and take a look. You have a little covered patio area. To the right is your RV parking and a built-in kitchen with entertainment area. A very large backyard, and then your pool to the left. And there are door alarms for the pool, and there's also a gate around the pool, so you're kind of double covered when it comes to little ones. So you see the, the backyard's quite expansive. Very well landscaped. And if we get to my favorite part of the house is the outdoor kitchen slash entertainment area. So you already have the built-in gas line and counter space, kitchen sink, whatever you need for the outdoor kitchen. Plenty of cabinet space. Plus you have a fireplace out here and a bracket for a TV. So the entertainment choices are kind of yours. And then right behind it is your RV parking and access to the garage as well. If you're interested in this home, please feel free to give me a call, 661-368-9098. I don't see this home lasting long, so please give me a call soon. Have a great day.